Here's the custom dog collar that I'll be sewing and demonstrating how to sew on my cowboy harness stitcher. This particular machine will sew uh, a thin double layer like what I'm fixing to sew or thick saddle leather um, like a saddle skirt uh, that would be like um, the sheepskin layer and then a filler and then the saddle skirting itself three layers or it works good for making knife sheaths or gun holsters where you have multiple layers and the foot raises up uh, it has a foot lever here that I can raise this foot up about one inch anywhere from just very thin to uh, one inch right here is the lever for adjusting the stitch length it's got a little uh, screw right there that you turn and uh, adjust it. It's a good idea every time before you sew something to have a piece of scrap leather and check your stitch length and make sure that the, the uh, tension is right. That's one good thing about a machine like this that you really don't have to adjust the tension um, every time. It's uh, pretty consistent. It pulls it right in the center like it needs to be. and. Um, I've got a fresh uh, uh, blank bobbin here that this will actually wind this bobbin as I'm sewing. So um, the lever here, that's the reverse position and that's a forward position. And this little screw right here adjusts the stitch length. And that's a bobbin winder. And I've got a polyester 346 white on my machine and it sews real well with that. And this particular machine has a servo motor on it, and it takes a little bit of adjusting to get the speed where you want it um, when you get a new machine like this. And these bobbins are big enough that you can sew several pieces without having to change the bobbin. I'll start at the back here, and I'll set this in like that. And then bring my needle down where I want to start, like put the tip of the needle right there. And then I like to hold the, uh, the bottom and the top thread as I start. So it put, starts off right and pulls the thread down. So I just give it a little start like that. I'm sewing without a guide. I have a guide that I can uh, drop down here and put to the edge which is uh, pretty handy sometimes but I've been sewing so long without a guide that I, I don't really need one myself so here goes I like this servo motor because you can just really slow it down and make concentrate on sewing right in the groove This got a closed toe uh, foot on it. Usually when I get close to the end right here, I'll really slow down and make sure that I get the point of the needle right in, like the very uh, end there where it looks uh, real good. So I've got room for one more stitch here. No, I don't actually. So I'll just uh, I'll raise my foot up and turn that around now. As you can see, this machine has plenty of power and it'll really travel if you want to go ahead and floorboard it. And my bobbin just popped, it snapped open. It's wound a complete bobbin while I've uh, been sewing around this uh, dog collar right here. Okay, now I'm going to stop right here and take in. See, I can pull that stitch up and there's a loop there. What I want to do is like pull that loop like right in the center of the leather and that holds that so it won't unravel. One more. 
more stitch there, and then I'll raise my foot up. Yep, okay, I'll raise the foot up, turn it like that. And usually I overlap like one or two stitches. 